Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to find one spot in the body where you can stay focused. And watch the breath go past. And ask yourself, does the breath feel good at this spot? You can change the rhythm. See what that does. Make it heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow, longer, shorter. But try to stay focused. Keep the mind still. When the mind is still, then it can cool down. You may have noticed on the afternoons when you go back to your hut, or you go back to your room, the room may be cool when you first go in there, but that by the time you leave it's getting hot and stuffy. Part of that problem, of course, is the heat coming into the walls from outside, but part of the problem is just you. Your body is generating heat, radiating heat. And the mind is the same way. The mind radiates heat, it radiates greed, aversion, and delusion. It, it, delusion heats up the world. The world is already hot enough as, you, as it is, you, not only in terms of the weather, but in terms of people's attitudes. And as we're meditating, we're learning how not to add any more heat, or at least to add the minimum amount of heat to our surroundings. That way we help the world cool down a bit. When the mind is still, it's a lot cooler than when it's running around. So give the place of mind where it can be still and also have a sense of well-being. Because if you simply force it to be still without giving it something good, it's going to want to run away. So give it a comfortable breath. Once the breath gets comfortable, you can think of that comfort spreading out to fill the whole body. So even though you're focused on one spot, you're aware of the whole body, and the whole body feels good. It feels nourished by the breath. So what you're radiating now is a sense of well-being all around. You benefit, the people around you benefit. So in spite of the heat of the world, we don't have to heat things up any more than it's already out there. And we can maybe have a cooling influence. So we're going to put out the fires of the world by putting out our own fires inside first. <laughs> 